The release date for season seven of the MCC has just been announced. And this video, we're gonna go over everything that season has to offer because it's surprisingly a lot of stuff. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Yes, we are currently caught up in all the hype of Halo Infinite and the recent reveals that we've had there, but don't forget, we also have the Master Chief Collection as a game we can play right now, having seasons coming for us, guys, and we have a recent we have the recent announcement of the release date for MCC, so if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So it was revealed to us at six o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time, the release date of season seven for the MCC, which brings the custom game browser, elite customization, the map edge for Halo 3, and a whole lot more of extra good stuff. And it's all coming for us on June 23rd. That is this next Wednesday. Now this did fall in line with my predictions. It was either gonna be on June 9th, where it would be kind of a solid two months right before the reveal of Halo Infinite, but I didn't expect it to come out this week because everyone's gonna be caught up with all the Halo Infinite news and stuff going on there. So Wednesday the 23rd is when the playlist update will happen, which corresponds with a brand new season. So guys, so it's gonna be very awesome to get our hands on some brand new content for the MCC. Now let's just do a quick overview of everything that this season has to offer because it started out kind of small and then it's really kind of become something really special. The big announcement being from last Friday that the custom game browser will launch with season seven and it will have all the features that we all had back when it had the live build play test weekend, but actually gonna have some extra features added on to that from that play test weekend. Changes like full sessions will sort to the bottom of the browser list. Several issues around the ordering of sessions when a sort column is selected to have been fixed. Also Game Browser has now addressed an exploit where cheaters flagged by EAC were not removed from session. The naming for end game now replaced with next game in the pause menu when repeat game is enabled. Improvements for party handling during gameplay with voice and text chat and many other polishes. Now keep in mind that the custom game browser will only be for Halo Reach at the launch of the feature. S343 wants to make sure that the custom game browser has all the features and sets that people require of this game so then they can branch out to the rest of the games and I'm pretty sure once the custom game browser is in a really good state or when the general public likes the feature that's when you'll see the other games come in and it'll be a rather fast turnaround for the custom game browser. Now this feature is going to be super useful for me because I like to do live streams and play with you guys a lot but you know setting up custom games can be a bit of a hassle trying to get everyone in and inviting everyone. If I just set up a server you guys can jump in real easily so you guys want to jump in and play some custom games with us check out the link in the description to our twitch channel we do stream every tuesday and thursday evening as well another huge thing that's coming for season 7 is expanded customization for elites within halo 3. a lot of the halo online armor sets that were made for the elites in that game are now coming over to the mcc as well some of them are pretty cool looking some of them are kind of you know extra elite looking let's just say that much so a lot of customizations for you dino boys out there now i do feel like there's going to be a a lot more dinos coming with season seven as people are going to be unlocking this content probably want to play as a leech to try out the new stuff so i have a feeling with season seven it's going to be like playing turok in the mcc if you guys remember that game it'll just be dino hunting every live stream so for all you mcc swat players uh season seven might be a bit of a nightmare also remember we're getting a lot of customization for halo 4 as well as we're getting the champions bundle coming back into the mcc which features a classic ce influence armor set right there a kind of a football player looking one as well as a forerunner armor set as well which looks so cool probably will be my go-to armor set when it comes to playing halo 4 but not only that we have armor effects just like in halo reach coming over to halo 4 as well all the armor armor effects that you would expect to see for halo reach are going to be in Halo 4. I have seen them in game. They don't look as nice as they do in Halo Reach, but it's a nice touch and more additional customization, the better in my opinion. Another amazing addition, and we're getting a brand new map for Halo 3, the map Edge. Now we did get to play test this map during the season six flight, but the performance just wasn't quite there for the game. And now it looks like it has been improved enough to where they can release it into the MCC. I did play it a ton with some custom games during the flight for season seven and tell you guys like the map functions really well. In fact, a lot better than Waterfall, but Waterfall is also getting some improvements as well when it comes to the performance. So hopefully you can get a solid 120 frames when you're playing on PC or just 
maintain 60 if you're playing on the Xbox One. If you'd like to see me do a tutorial breakdown for Edge, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. Now the great thing for all you CE campaign players, the visuals are getting a massive overhaul in this. I made a video dedicated to this, just kind of showcasing the before and afters of the various fixes that came with this, because if you guys remember the CE that we play on the MCC, this isn't actually the original Combat Evolved. We're actually playing the Gearbox PC port, which actually had a lot of visual bugs as well within there. And so look, glad to see that 343 has been able to go in and fix a lot of those issues. So then when you're playing Halo CE's campaign and also the maps for the multiplayer as well, the visuals are going to be looking much more true to the original game because the bump mapping was completely screwed with the Gearbox port. With the terrible bump mapping that was originally with the Gearbox port, everything just looked really flat. The visuals did not look as nice as they actually were back in the original 2001 graphics. Another really big feature coming in for the MCC with Season 7 is the Firefight Match Composer. It's getting thrown in with the Match Composer as well, which is awesome because right now you can either play Halo Reach or you play ODST. There is no way to kind of mix and match the two. And this image from one of the recent blog updates kind of just goes over a quick view of what to expect when it comes to the match composer for the firefight. So you can see you have Halo Reach and ODST, you have Heroic, Legendary, and various other kind of special modes that you can select as well. 343 does say that th this new feature allows them to do more things with firefight, like timed game modes and things like that. As in the various fixes being, this adjustment is aimed at helping to bring the firefight communities between ODST and Reach closer so they can find more matches lower the time to find matches for firefight provide an option for players to have more granularity in the game types searched open the door for potential rotational firefight options and categories centralize firefight within the core destination for social matchmaking experiences rather than having a separate menu the existing firefight matchmaking menu flow will now redirect to social games with the firefight game preset selected i welcomed change in my opinion hopefully this will get more people to play firefight as well i've never really had issues finding matches but sometimes you know some things might be a little bit difficult later in the evenings or th something like that or in the off hours but throwing this in with the social games might make it so then people can just easily just switch over to play a firefight rather than have to back out of the menus and search again and the last really cool thing i want to talk about guys is sword customization that's coming with season seven as well there we have a like we have a ton of new options with sword customization and it just looks all fantastic and i'm very excited the chance to play around with a lot of this maybe this will get me to play infection a bit more as we'll have more customization to get a chance to see that sword a bit more often because there's some really cool options now so that's everything you need to know and prepare yourself for season seven of the mcc guys make sure you grind out those seasonal points to finish out your season six battle pass i just did the other night on stream and looking forward to the new grind for season seven as we anxiously wait the day to play some halo infinite mcc is going to be doing a great job to hold us over until then so if you guys like these news and informational videos or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here got a link to all my news and informational videos We've been uploading a ton this week with all the Halo Infinite news and information going out right now. I've also uploaded a few cool cinematic videos as well if you guys want to check those out. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.